I'm going to show you how to do a VLOOKUP across multiple columns without entering a new index number each time you want to populate new information in a new column. So let's take a look at the index number. That's what you've been entering at the very end of each VLOOKUP, and it tells us where the information is being pulled from. So in this case, the costs are being pulled from column 2 in our master sheet. Now if I copied this formula and I pasted it in column C under retail, I could simply change the index number and it would pull up the retail, co retail cost instead of the cost. I could do this across the board. I could go through titles, descriptions, and simply change the index number to pull up new information. There's an easier way than manually changing the index number, but you need to know about hidden values in Excel. Each cell in Excel has a hidden value. So if we went up to column A, row 1, the value would be 1. For B1, the value would be 2. For C1, it would be 3. D1, it would be 4. I think you're starting to see the pattern. They sequentially go across starting at A1. The cool part about hidden values is we can actually use these in our VLOOKUP formula in place of the index number. So if we needed a 2 index number, we could simply put that in. Now let's put a dollar sign right before our lookup range. That's going to make it an absolute. Now instead of 2, we're going to reference 2 as the hidden value. So type column, open parentheses, B, 1, close parentheses. Now we're referencing the value 2. We can take this and we could drag this across now and then we could drag it down. And without manually entering any index numbers, we've done a VLOOKUP. 